Welcome to another five minute with Cyril video. I want to talk here about a proposal defense. How do you present an idea that you propose in order to get funding so that you increase the probability of actually receiving the funds and being able to run your work? So this is an important capability for faculty members in order to attract funding, in order to fund students, in order to conduct their research. And it's kind of seen as the, an exam situation for professors or senior faculty members. You thought the PhD defense was the last real exam that you did, but then it turns out that was not the case. There are other exam-like situations and a proposal defense is one of them. And I want to emphasize a bit what is important in order to defend your proposal um, in a good manner. Of course, you need to good, a good, give a good presentation. And all the rules that apply for giving a good presentation and presenting in a convincing manner also hold for your proposal defense. There's nothing different in this sense. There are, however, a, a special set of factors which matter for a proposal defense, and I want to just look into those things. So one of the defenses is special, like a PhD defense is also a special scientific presentation. And so a proposal defense is also a specific um, presentation which has some um, certain aspects. Typically, you have your reviewers in there which need to review your work and say in the end, yes, the person received the funding or no, the person will not receive the funding. And the funding rates can vary between something like 50%, which is very attractive, or something in the order of 5%, which is really hard to get and there's a very strong competition in there. So you need to understand what are the questions that the members of the review panel need to answer in order to say, yes, the person should receive funding or no, the person should not receive funding. Often, you can ask the funding agency what those uh, criteria are, um, but often they are actually quite similar. There are some aspects which are more relevant in, for this call or for another call, but overall, they want to understand first, is the proposed work novel and exciting? Right? If this is not novel or not an exciting work, you lost already. There's no reason to continue. So need, you need to make sure that you, you explain the reviewers why you think this is novel and why you think this gives new, interesting, um, exciting opportunities. If you fail on this, no way. Second thing is, what is the expected change? So consider your idea is successful. To which change will it lead? What will it enable in case you're successful? Of course, you cannot guarantee that you're successful. But even under the assumption you're successful, there must be an advancement in there. There must be something cool in there so that the reviewers say, oh yeah, this actually will make a big difference. We should give this person, whatever, five million euros or dollars in order to conduct their research, right? So and they also want to understand, are you the right team and is this the right setup? So it could be that you propose an outstanding great idea and which will lead to a big change, but people simply don't believe that you're able to ship that. So you need to make sure to um, present why you are the right person, why you have the right setup to do this. Because in the end, the question is, will the money be well invested if we invest into this proposal? So what you need to do is, you will first need to answer why this is relevant and what will your research enable. I would always start with this. What do I plan to enable? What will my research enable if we are successful? And for that, what's very helpful is if you contrast what is and what could be and starting what it is right now, the situation, and if it is successful, what would that enable? And then you jump forth and back between what is and what could be all the time. This is something which can make very strong points so that it burns into the brain of the reviewers and they won't forget about this. You will meet, need to be very explicit in which areas you want to push the state of the art forward, something which should be obvious, but um, be very explicit about this, where you want to push the state of the art forward, where do you want to make a step change. This must be very clear to the reviewers. Last but not least, the reviewers need to evaluate if you are the right person or if it's the right team. And for that, your past merits matter. What you have achieved in the past is the only indicator of what's possible in the future, besides your presentation skills, obviously. Um, but you want to make sure the reviewers see that your past merits fit to what is proposed, that this is the good background knowledge that you need in order to ship that. This is super, super important. You also need to emphasize that you have the right setup, the right university, the right lab, the right surrounding in order to do the research. And if you do this, your chances of getting your proposal funded is much higher. And with the last slide for my proposal, I would always end summarizing what 
will I enable or what will this proposal enable if it gets funding. This should be the last slide. This should, needs to be burned again into the brain of the reviewers. So if they fill their questionnaire form later on after your review, it's crystal clear what they write in there, what your stuff will enable. So with this, good luck in getting in funding.